With lots of help from our friends in the ThinkBomb Innovation Community, IT industry analysts Erica Driver and Sam Driver created the ThinkBomb Data Garden in the virtual world of Second Life. The Data Garden is an experiment in data visualization, displaying findings from the ThinkBomb Immersive Internet Business Value Study, which was published in May of 2009. We give guided tours through the garden as a next-generation webinar experience. Come with us now for a 9-minute version of the tour. In this research study, we conducted an anonymous online survey of 66 highly qualified practitioners, people who have been involved in immersive internet projects at work and have insight into their business value. We also did 15 in-depth interviews. We found that two-thirds of work-related immersive technology initiatives in 2008 and early 2009 were what we call pre-production. They were experiments or pilots. This finding is very important. It colors all of the rest of the data displays you'll see here. About two-thirds of respondents said they didn't recoup the investment their organizations have made or don't know if they have. This ties in with the fact that the vast majority of projects in this time frame were experiments or pilots. 29% said they recouped their investment in less than nine months, which is a pretty good ROI for information technology. At ThinkBomb, we focus our research on eight work-related uses of immersive technology, learning and training, meetings, conferences, data visualization, collaborative design and prototyping, business activity rehearsal, human resources management, and remote system and facility management. We asked our survey respondents which of these uses they focused on in 2008 and early 2009. In this display, the gears represent the use of immersive technology and the inner workings of the business machine. The larger the gear, the more common the use case. 80% of our survey respondents focused on learning and training. 76% focused on meetings. When we asked an open-ended question about how people used the technology, we found that more than twice as many people used it for internal meetings as used it for external ones. And again, learning and training was at the top of the list. Here we've presented the data as a series of french fries or noodles that have varying degrees of floppiness. If you're seeking funding for immersive technology projects, you may consider focusing first on the steady, solid use cases, meetings and learning and training. We asked the survey respondents what the likelihood is of their organization using immersive technology for each of the eight use cases. The black dots on this prediction board represent the survey respondents' average answer for 2009, and the white dots represent 2010 and 11. Once again, meetings and learning and training are high on the list, with most survey respondents saying investment in these areas is definite or likely. The more complex use cases like remote system and facility management and human resources management are lower priorities. We're closely watching business activity rehearsal and collaborative design and prototyping because these uses jump from unlikely in 2009 to likely in 2010 and 11. Immersive technology is by no means the only way to conduct learning and training or meetings or any of these things. We asked the survey respondents which alternatives to immersive technology they considered for their projects. In this swarm of alternatives display, visitors experience the confusion that can occur when trying to pick the right solution to a business problem. We found that the top three alternatives to immersive technology are web conferencing, face-to-face -face meetings, and video conferencing. We asked why people are selecting immersive technology over these alternatives. We found that the top two reasons are reducing costs and increasing engagement. Here, visitors to the ThinkBomb Data Garden can play a game during which players race to push little gear balls representing use of immersive technology into a goal. With each score, gold bars are removed from the team's trash can. The message? The more you deploy and use immersive technology, the more your organization can reduce its costs. Also, the interactive, fun nature of immersive environments increases engagement. 
we uncovered some specifics during the course of our research. More than half of survey respondents said that the cost of implementing immersive technology was lower than the alternatives. Keep in mind that the leading alternatives included face-to-face -face meetings, which often involved travel. More than half of respondents cite their costs for 2008 and first quarter of 2009 at less than $25,000 US. More than a third cited less than $10,000. We didn't ask them to specify what they were including in these numbers. About 45% of organizations spent fewer than 160 person hours rolling out immersive technology. The bottom line? You can gain valuable experience with this emerging technology at relatively little cost. Before we dive into the specifics about the business value of this emerging technology, let's talk about the chasm. You may be familiar with the concept of crossing the chasm from the work of Jeffrey Moore and others. Work-related use of the immersive internet is now in the early adopter phase and we face many barriers before we can get to the early majority phase. We bucket these barriers into two categories, technology-related and people-related. The most common technology-related barriers were users having inadequate hardware and corporate security restrictions. The most common people-related barriers are getting users interested in the technology and the amount of effort required to train the target audience. These issues can be daunting, but as you're about to see, the early explorers report that it's worth the pain. More than 40% of survey respondents saw positive economic benefit from using immersive technologies in 2008 and early 2009. 42% don't know. Looking forward, more than half of respondents expect positive economic benefit in the remainder of 2009, and the number who say they don't know goes down slightly. The emotional response people have toward their immersive internet projects is overwhelmingly positive. One third of survey respondents said that their 2008 and early 2009 project data actually showed success. Another 61% reported that their projects were still ongoing, no data yet, but that it, quote, feels like a success. The top three benefits early adopters report are face time, increased innovation, and cost savings. 95% of survey respondents said enabling people in disparate locations to spend time together was at least a somewhat important benefit of the immersive internet projects they undertook in 2008 and early 2009. Nearly 90% of respondents said the same about increased innovation and cost savings. Here's the clincher. Despite all the barriers to adoption, despite the early nature of this emerging market, Nearly three-fourths of survey respondents said they might or will increase their investment in this area in 2009 and 10. The key takeaway? Those who are investing in immersive technology for work are finding enough value in it to continue investing. Our view is that for these brave few, this emerging technology just may be the cornerstone of competitive advantage.